Wow, what's going on everybody? It's your boy John from the Amateur here. Welcome back to another video of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Genlock. I hope you guys have a, a fantastic day as I am doing some whale times in Alola. Anyway, as I go on, we have some interesting things today. We have a totem, so stick around for that because, oh my god, I'm going to get destructed. But... That is okay. We're out here. We're going to do our best to win. We have a team of four because we only got four mons, which is just great. And yeah, so let's go ahead and see what we've got on the team. We don't need to save. Let's go ahead and check our mons. We got Daddy, the Machamp with Sap Sipper's ability, Storm Throw, Brick Break, Snatch, and Cotton Card. Didn't want to learn any moves while he was grinding. You know, gotta get them grind action on. Ooh. We got Green Bird with Searing Shot, Psy Beam, Hex, and Sacred Fire with the Steelworker ability. So I kind of want to learn Flash Cannon at some point. It is hecka hot in my room, so maybe I should open up a window. But then you hear the frogs, and that'll be great. Um, We got Snazzy this last with Thunder Wave, Baneful Bunker, Mystical Fire, and Dark Pulse with Magic Card as an ability. And lastly, we got Zayden, our Mega Swampert with Thunder Punch, Shadow Sneak, Steamroller, and Liquidation. So, let's go ahead and get the show on the road. Go ahead and start it off beating Team Skull instantaneously because they're going to be the easiest bunch of the world. Then we don't actually have to fight anybody else until the totem. So... Yeah, it is going to be a toughie, and I already know that this episode could be the first time we see some casualties in the Nuzlocke. I hope not. Like I said, I want a deathless run. If, if I get a deathless run, can you guys give me the 10k subscribers challenge? If you're willing to accept it. I love... What the... Wait, am I really... Is that it? <laughs> That was, I thought that there was a fight here. No, there's definitely a fight here. Okay. Why? Well, okay. Anyway, I was like, there's got to be a fight here. I am just excited. If I can get 10K subscribers, your boy would be freaking out. Um. Anyway, oh, Team School, you guys get right here. You guys dance on top of the man times, and I hate it so much. Like, oh my God. That's. It's a synopsis of what's going on in this conversation. So, we don't have to even talk about this conversation. But this conversation is extremely long. So, anyway, how has your day been? Like I said, hopefully it's been a fantastic day like mine has today. It has been interesting to say the least. Um, Kind of figuring out a lot of financials. Um, it's kind of a big deal to me. <laughs> and so... Um, trying to figure all that out and getting it to work and seeing what we can do is always something. Um, but happy Friday, as it is Friday today. And you have a Zygarde of all Pokemon to have. First first things first, on the realist, we're fighting a level 10 Zygarde. That might be a problem. Although we had Cotton Guard. I don't know why I didn't click it. But we're out here. We got our Diet Coke, and we are going to... Kill this thing. Pound. Oh, you have nothing. Um, I know Diet Coke is just as bad as regular Coke, so it's not like I'm doing anything a favor to my body. If anything, it's like making it worse, but that's okay. Also, probably should have prefaced that with uh, hashtag not sponsored because if I got sponsored by Coke, like Diet Coke, like Coca-Cola company, oh boy, we would be... Um, We'd be in a world of uh, weirdness, honestly. Like, I would literally be doing this as a full-time job because, I mean, $10,000 a video or $10,000 a month, like, if you want to give me $10,000 a month for selling your product, I'm down. Just get to make videos and have fun. I'm joking. I, I would not be making $10,000. <laughs> they would be giving that to Markiplier, um, not me. Uh, we got a freshwater, which honestly is going to help us out on our trial. Um Raise your hand if you're scared for today's episode. Uh, very scared. Um, I really... See, my thing is, is I naturally get scared about these trials and these episodes. And I really shouldn't, considering we literally have one battle that's forced, and it's this one right here. Oh, it's not even forced. We're passing it. I didn't... Uh, 
Wow. I, I have walked by. I thought that was a forced battle, but apparently not. So, yeah, we literally are straight shotting right to the totem. So, I'm kind of glad I added up off last episode. It was a little bit longer than normal, but that is okay with me. As long as it's not over 40 minutes, we're good. Actually, I think last episode was close to cresting that. But I want to keep this series in, like, the 25 to 30 minute range like last series. If you guys find it a lot more enjoyable, then... Because I... I want to get this audience rotation working, right? Okay, so my thing is, oh, that would have been a good encounter, is in order to, for YouTube to start pushing out the content more, the average view to rotation has to be 50%, right? So if I make my videos 25 minutes, then it means that the average person can sit there for 10 minutes or 12 minutes, excuse me, 12 minutes, and... YouTube will start pushing it out. And then you have the people that watch the entire length of the video, and that'll help it out as well. Like, But then if I make a longer video, the people who watch all the way through... Hold on. I don't know... My computer just shut off because I think I accidentally tapped the power PC button and okay well that's an interesting probably 20 10 seconds of video for you me going like this because I thought I screwed up the recording whatever how's the talk to us about pointless things so as how talks about pointless things we can continue on our conversation about YouTube so if I require people to watch like 10 minutes or 12 minutes, then that's better, right? Like, theoretically, that would be better because I'm requiring less and making more content for YouTube to push it out. But then, if I require less, the people who are doing more are less beneficial according to the algorithm. According to me... They're not less beneficial. They're just as beneficial as everybody else because they're amazing and help out the channel. But according to how YouTube looks at it, they're not watching the full length. Uh, I don't want Roto Lottom. One of these girls... Oh, her trade's not red. Her trade is randomized, but we'll never know. Are you really requiring me to use Loto Rotom Lotto? You really are. Really? Okay, whatever. So, we have a berries encounter. Oh, I have to. By the way, I'm not. I'm. I'm gonna avoid using Rotom powers because I feel like that's not fair. But we. Okay, so the berry encounter, we get one. So we don't get a lot. We do only get one. Do you give me super potions or are you just regular potions as well? Nope, you're just regular potions as well. But I would like to buy some more. Let's go ahead and get five more under our belt. We'll have ten potions. We'll have at least something to work with over nothing. And then how is our team looking? We're only like five power points down. We'll go back when we get our encounter. Um, I'm hoping... For our sake, that this is the berry encounter that we can get. It does not look like it, though. Oh! Never mind. It is our berry encounter! Why do I keep getting Generation 2 mods? This is the fourth one! Generation 2 is one of the smallest generations. In the first four generations, it is the smallest. And yet again, here we are with a Gen 2 Pokemon that I literally cannot use. Bruh. I would love it if we didn't have to worry about it. But Dunsparce is not a terrible mod. It's just... Circumstance... It, it's not a terrible mod. It's just circumstantially bad. Um, for what's going on. That's so frustrating. That's our... Why Gen 2? Literally, Gen 2 is the worst generation of Pokemon. Like... And I keep getting them. If they're not making it... They're not making me like it that much more by giving by force feeding me 
Pokemon I literally can't use. Ugh, that is, again, I'm not like, okay, cool, it's an encounter, that's awesome. I'm not gonna, but I'm also not gonna be like, oh my god, we got this Pokemon, it is so amazing. When it's not, it's a Dunsparce. Now, this is a Pokemon that really should have had a, uh, what's it called? Uh, Mega. Like, honestly, Mega Dunsparce would have been cool. Anybody agree with that? I think that Mega Dunsparce should have been a thing. Because Serene Grace has got a good ability. It could have kept that. Could have been a... Uh, they could have added some speed stat and attack to make it more... Or even a defensive Mega. I know a lot of people don't run defensive Megas. But with the fact that you had Serene Grace, you could have made it a defensive Mega. Um... And it would have been fine. But yet, they decided that it was better not to do that. And I, I still don't understand the decision. Um, but yeah, they could have kept Serene Grace as it gets it normally. And it, it just would have been a cool Mon. So, this is a Mon that I feel like would have really benefited from having a Mega. But we got it. So, But it will be going in the box. Unfortunately, we cannot utilize it. Which is a little sad. I know. I want to utilize it too, you know. But, unfortunately, we can't. Daddy gets to level 16. We take that. I don't know why I named a champ Daddy, but I just, I did. <laughs> That's all I can say. And I'm going to be saying Daddy, like, the entire freaking series. I already know, because I don't lose Mons very often. So, expect that to be said at least 100 times, if not 1,000 times in this series. Woo! Um... Would you like to give Dunsparce a nickname? Yes, I would. We are going to name this Dunsparce after Culpa, as he was in the comment section of the last video. Or, that was actually for Versus, but that's okay. Episode 2 dropped today, as this is probably episode 6, but that's okay. I like to bulk record, because I have a lot of fun with the series. I love Gen 7, so giving me an opportunity to play Gen 7, I'm just, I'm just not like I'm not going to take it. Um... Also, we're going to go live with Sword and Shield today, more than likely. I'm not going to guarantee it, but there is a very good likelihood that that is going to happen. Um, so, I can't wait for that. Min Mincino, Mincino would have been okay. If I would have gotten that, I would have been like, eh, Mincino, cool. But, like, at least it's a Generation 5 mon, so we can use it. Um, oh, ooh, okay, never mind. We couldn't use it. It's got a slow start. Um, anyway... What does Culpa? What does Culpa have as an ability? Probably something weird. I already can imagine it being like the weirdest ability that actually works for it. Water compaction. Okay, so it can be used as a bulky mon. Literally, we're talking about a bulky mon. We don't we don't need it right now though. Green Bird is definitely better than a Dunsparce for sure. Uh, but it does, like, it gives us a lot more box. I, you know what I should do? I totally should organize my box via generation. That would actually be a smart thing. Two, three, four, five, seven doesn't work. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dang it. And I was not wrong. This is my fourth generation two Pokemon. Nice. We love having way too many Gen 2 Mons. I guess it would be 1 through 6, and then... I don't know. It's organized by generation. That's all I care about right now. But we're going to go into the trial. and this, We'll end the episode off after the trial is over, I guess. That seems like... Because you don't get encounters in here, so it's like, why not? Um, it should take us, like, another 10 minutes, and then I'm only requiring you to watch 10 minutes of content. Let's go! Actually, I can't really require you to watch content, but, like... If I if you watch ten minutes of content, it helps me out way more. Let's go. Um, like, I don't know. I don't know if the shorter video premise is gonna work for this series, especially. But here's the thing: like, if I'm entertaining during those ten minutes or fifteen minutes, it's better if I'm like entertaining and a lot more interactive and all that stuff for that ten to 15, like the fifteen to twenty minutes, rather than having dead space and not. I don't know. I'm going to test it out. This is going to be the theory of the series. It's going to... A lot of the episodes are going to be around that, like, to... I, I don't want videos to go over 30. That's going to be the goal for this series. Like, videos... I don't want videos to go a lot over 30, I should say. 
Um, because videos will go over 30. I get carried away. I already know I do. It's not like that's a no. And I mean, I've been doing YouTube for seven years. Like, whoa. It's almost like I'm experienced. But my experience doesn't help me in the algorithm. Woo. Um, so what am I doing? I'm making different plays. I'm making new things. Like, trying to see what may spark something. Because who knows? Um, I'm having so much fun with Versus. I'm having a lot of fun with Cage Log. Uh, like, I recorded a Cage Lock episode the other day, and it was, like, it was amazing. But it was also 40 minutes. So I think for the next Cage Lock, Aaron and I, I might talk about potentially making shorter episodes. But shorter, but more episodes. Because like, it's going to benefit in a way as well. Because um, my longest series, ooh, Carvana, ooh, na, na. It's almost like there's a Pokemon named Starbucks. That was in Soul Link with Papa Agron. Um, you're not a dark type yet, are you? I don't think you are, but we're gonna try. I don't know. We'll find out right now. I don't know. I think it'll kill no matter what. Okay, you are dark type now. I just love how I'm not bringing it out over crits because I know it's 100. percent Like, it's been it's been it's been very nice to have a move that like I know is actually 90 base power. Like, I don't under I kind of get the premise of the move. Like, it's a move that always crits, but like. Why not just make it 90 base power? Like. It's going to crit anyway. So, wow, Big Teeny is the, uh, another one in here. That's not, if that's the totem, I'm a little scared. Luckily for me right now, it's not the totem. But it could be going into Zayden. Zayden can handle it. Um, and knowing that this totem could be anything that's forcefully evolved. Because totems are forcefully evolved. It could be anything. I am a little nervous. I'm glad you went for Sky Drop, though. Because I am probably slower, right? I am. Let's go. And this is the first time I've ever... Oh, I wasn't slower. Wait, what? Okay, whatever. Liquidation's gonna Oko, because, like, our moveset... Like, I don't think our Mega Swapper's dying. I'm sorry. I don't think it will. Um, I hate to say it, but yeah, it's probably not gonna happen. Um, wa waterfall. Doesn't Waterfall have a chance to flinch? 80 base power with a chance to flinch. Do I want just a teeny weensy bit less power for the chance to flinch? And more PP. Because it's the same amount of chance to flinch as it does lower the defense. You know what? I'm doing it. Flinching is very good. Now, watch. This is going to come to bite me in the butt when I actually want a little bit of extra power on my water move. Um, But still, I don't think it will. Just because the 20% chance to flinch is better than the defense drop chance. Still, one more Pokemon to defeat. This one's the annoying one, because you have to go all the way around. Wait. Before that, there's a TM over here. It's randomized. Let's get it. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. That's a two-turn move, I believe. Freeze Shock isn't bad, though. But I do believe it's a two-turn move, so I don't necessarily... I'm not like, ooh, two-turn Muru. But yeah, like you have to go through this... Um, but yeah, so, I don't know. Let me know what you think of the experiment in the comment section below. And also, I need to make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Because, like, one, I've been noticing that I don't touch or say anything about the like button. And that's kind of imperative. I kind of need that to happen. Um, two. Um. Comments are nice because I get to know what you guys are thinking. And you guys are pretty good at that. So, which is awesome. But yeah, your guys' input is important to me and how you guys feel, given scenarios are, is honestly, to me, it's imperative to my success because you guys are the voice. You guys are basically like my investors. Uh, if you're looking at an entrepreneurial company, like you guys basically invest in the company in some sort of way. Like if you look at it as a, in a from a business standpoint, you guys 
are you guys get a share of what your viewing experience is like that's like instead of it being like you get a percentage of the money that's made you guys have a what i would say is an ultimately bigger role um you guys get to determine kind of in a way what goes on based off of what you guys like what you guys want so it does you guys change the mold of the channel you you basically what you guys do uh, creates the kneading in the slime like ha 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 cutie fly only run that was a trash video don't don't check that out um i did terrible on that but and i i am not afraid to admit it i tried to fit i had a problem with trying to fit everything that was going on at once um Cutie fly, snazzy is coming out. But yeah, so no, I don't know. That's how I view it. Like, just because I appreciate everything you guys do, you guys change everything. You guys make it what it is. Um, we're gonna go ahead and mystic fi mystical fire and kill that son of a gun real quick. Who's ready for a totem? Not me. Definitely not me. Definitely not me. Um. I think that's it, right? The other grunt. Does the other grunt fight you? I don't know. I don't. I think he might. I honestly don't remember, but I. I feel like he does. No, he does not. See, I don't get it. They have two team grunt, team skull grunts, right? And it's always one. That tends to fight. And the other one doesn't. So it's weird. It's funny. It's. I think it's funny because it's weird. But. Oh, is the other one on the other side? You know, I didn't realize that until now. The other one splits and jets left. You know what? That's the first thing. Scram. Wait. Oh, I thought. I was kind of hoping. That there was, I would, that, that the call would have actually been what it is. That's a Mystic Umbreon. Let's go. Um, and Storm Throw is just going to wreck shop here. Right? Yeah, okay. Why, naturally, you'd have the Rocky Helmet of all things. If, if the totem actually. Wait. The totem, that means the totem can have an item. Oh my god, that's right. The totem has a berry, usually. Or some sort of item. Uh-oh. Um... Well, okay, then. That scares me a little bit more. But yeah, this episode's... Like I said, I want these episodes to be... I could have ended it right there and kind of cliffhanger the totem. I'm not going to do that to you guys. That's not who I am as a person. I'm a finisher. If I'm going into the trial, I gotta finish the trial in the same episode. I think that's part of the reason why my first series kind of went really long. As the totem is hopefully okay. I probably shouldn't drink my water or my uh, diet coke because this is gonna be scary probably. Because I know it's randomized. Oh, Cophagrigus with an. Wait. It's attack rose. It didn't rise sharply, right? So it's only plus one. So it's actually not a bad... Yeah, okay. That's not bad, although we do have Dr. Daddy in the front of the party. And... Uh, Greenbird can't deal any damage to this thing. Snazzy can, but that sucks because there's going to be another Mon. It's going to be 2v1. What level? It's level 13, correct? It should be. If the totems are up, it should be level 13. Shadow Claw with plus... Oh, of course you have Shadow Claw. Oh, God. Okay, what is your ally? Please be something that's not a Psychic. Not a Psychic, and I'm fine. Not a Psychic, and I'm fine. Pharisee, let's go! It's not even hard at all. Okay, you are level 13. So, first things first on the realist. I'm going to Thunder Rave the Kofagrigus. Because 
Thunder waving the cough egregious is going to help me out. I know I can deal with the Pharaoh Seed, so I want to keep that on the side of the field as much as possible. Um. Ah! Why'd you crit? Why'd you crit? Why, 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 why? Literally, I could have died. Ah. Luckily, it's cotton guarding. So, with it cotton guarding. Oh my god. Freshwater does 30. And I only have two super potions. Ah, god damn it. Okay, don't crit, please. You have plus one attack. I would prefer you not to do that. Um, Cotton Guard is not... I'm not, like I said, I'm not worried about... Oh, Cotton Guard and... Okay, maybe I should be a little worried about this thing because it's got coil, too. Um, Dude, get paralyzed, please. Don't get me again. Dude! Let's not crit! Jeez. Dude, uh... A crit twice in a row? You, Shadow Claw doesn't even have a high chance to crit. Like, and this Pharaoh Seed is setting up in front of my face, getting ready to kill me. Okay, don't crit. Bruh! That's three in a row! And a crit. Oh my god. No. Okay, I am the fastest mod on the field. If it crits again, I'm screwed, but I'm in a Mystic Flower, that Pharaoh Seed. I can't stand having it on the field right now. It's setting up too much. I'm scared of it. Um, so that's gone. I don't think it'll call anything else. I want to say it's limited to one on this on this totem. If you crit again, I'm going to be mad. Four in a row! Well, so much for having 10k subscribers on a deathless run because this thing has hit four crits in a row avoided four paralysis four times in a row actually make that five what the actual heck am i supposed to do here four crits in a row i guess i can win a zayden also how is it breaking through paralysis like every time I've only got Shadow Sneak. I've got not a good move set on this thing. If this thing wants to pull out a Grass type move, or if it pulls out another Ferrothorn, which I don't think it will. Paraflinch time, I guess. Watch it actually get paralyzed this turn. Watch that. I can pretty much guarantee that's going to happen. No, no. It just goes for Harden this turn, because why not go for the Harden on the one turn that it actually mattered? And also, Harden of all moves. Like, what the... Uh, why? That is what I ask. How do I get crit four times in a row? Like, please tell me. And I would love to talk about it in the comment section. Yeah, I could have swapped into Zayden. Like, but Zayden didn't have a super effective move. I kept getting crit. I had no free switch. There was nothing that I could do there. Luckily, I did lose the Mon that I could have a... a on back but oh my god four in a row the chances i'm pulling up the chances right now because i'm a little pissed if you don't understand like like honestly i'm upset look at that the chances of that happening 243 in 261,244, which is, um, let's see, 10, 100,000, nine times in one million. So if you were to simulate the situation over a million times, that would only happen 9.3 times. Maybe even less, because I don't know if I carried the numbers correctly after, or carried it over, because it didn't let me do that. What a way to end an episode. I'm pissed. Obviously, and clearly. Well, bye, Salazzle. Have a great day, I guess. Um, yikes. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Um, I will respond to that comment. I love you all. So very much. You guys make my day. Um, if I wasn't ranting about the 
one and nine. Or that's the literally got to be the ep of episode title is n like nine in a billion um, or nine in a million. Um, because I, I'm livid at this point. How do I get crit four times in a row? And not be mad. I'm glad you healed my Pokemon. It makes me so happy that I get to see the fact that you revived my mom that I can't use. Anyway, love you guys all. Have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.